So I've missed uh, not in the years when they had two, two, but some years I was broadcasting uh, ball games in Greenville and Spartanburg. And one of the years I did uh, Clemson football, I did not do high school football. If I remember correctly, you might know back there. No, you won't remember. <laughs> she won't know. Here they go again with the draw play. Same guy. Another first down. They're grinding the clock at two minutes and seven seconds, moving the chains, threatening to score. And Westside had done pretty well against them till this point, but you just can't get, keep giving them chances, and they got so many weapons. So many weapons and so many things that they do. Running this pitch sweep with, with, uh, with Raphael, which they haven't done in uh, several minutes now with the misdirections and the, and the throws with Lafayette. They can hit you with John Scott Leslie, too, at fullback slot, and they can throw out to him on a little swing out to the right side where he picks up seven or eight tough yards across the way. He's brought down Brandon Alexander, one of the tacklers, also out there, Asher Alexander. And that play was aided by the west side defensive end who fell down, broke his containment, and Raphael, Lafayette was able to throw the ball unobstructed out into the flat to John Scott Leslie. And so Westside want to talk about this thing. Right now, Ted, no, here we go. It was a bootleg pass, fullback coming out. They've thrown it twice tonight. Been successful both times. So Ted's saying, guys, we don't let them go in here right at the last minute and, and get one in. They got about 19 yards to go. Let's hold them right here. At least hold them to three if we can. So we go in with a little something going for us here at halftime. West side would have been in pretty good shape had they gone in seven nothing, getting the field the second half kickoff, maybe driving the ball down and getting some good field position. They go in at the half fourteen nothing. You're gonna have the big momentum for Hannah scoring just before the half, and West side with the offense sputtering, not too sophisticated. Well, not. Sophisticated is not the word, but not too adept at moving the ball. They're going to have a tough time coming back from 14 points. Galloway steps under. Two men in the backfield behind him. He's going to roll left. A little pressure. Tries to step it up. Going to lose a couple of yards. 42, you see, getting up there for west side is Courtney Harrison. 99 is Myron Anderson. And you hear so many times a coverage sack, and this was a coverage sack. The defenders were covering the offensive receivers. Quarterback had nowhere to throw it, so he took the big loss. So this is a big play right here on third, about four. Ball just outside the 20-yard line. Chance to possibly hold them to a chance for three if they can hold them right here. Drop the football, scramble for it. Still a fight going down um, under there. Fourth down. So if you're Scott Parker, do you go ahead and get your three while you can? Well, I, I, I think he will because he was taking touchdown on that one rather than the mentality of two uh, four down territory. And running it twice for that two yards. I think the clock, he thinks the clock is against him. But, uh. I don't think there's a chance for a fake here because you got a yarder. You got to score almost with 28 seconds to go. 40 yard. look at that move. Check it out, check it out the moon there. A 40-yarder in high school normally wouldn't be almost a sure thing, but with both of the kickers we have here tonight, it's close to it. He punched it off to the right side. We were bragging too soon. He pushed it. Pretty good mo momentum swing there for, for Westside, Ken. Turning the ball over. Facing uh, going into the half 14 nothing, then facing going into the half at 10 nothing, and now 
they're going in at half seven nothing. And got and and they get to receive the second half kickoff. Right here, he might not, but I'd take a knee. He's going to. He's going to take a knee. And that will end the first half of play. Started out looking like it was really going to be big scoring because Hannah took the ball, got a short field, took the ball, punched it right in for the touchdown, took a 7 up lead, and it was all over. And so that's... And who would have thought it was going to only be 7 nothing at the half of this game? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of the first half of play. The score is Hannah 7, Westside nothing, and stand by for the bands and halftime activities, and we'll be right back with the kickoff after all that. Have Little in the backfield with Galloway from the shotgun. Swings it out to the left side. Boy, I'm telling you, West Side's defense is clamped down on them as the pass was complete to gear, but he drew a crowd. And you know the danger of letting a team hang around and hang around, uh, you just don't like, to ha like, like for it to happen because West Side's a proud team. Their confidence is going, is, is being built up. And uh, they still think they're in this game. They still think they've got a chance. And they, and they definitely do. They, they know, know how to win. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They and Ted Luckadoo knows how. Sorry. Galloway, under pressure. Back, Lee Artis Brockington. Huge loss. Back inside the 10 and around the 6-yard line. Monster play. He never saw him coming. Came, Lucky they didn't fumble. Came from the blind side. Lafayette was trying to go wide down the far side of the field. Beckler putting deep in his own end zone. Quez Hollings in Hannah territory to receive the punt. If he doesn't fumble this thing or do something wrong, they could get some good field position. He's going to get a little bit of a run back here. Quez Hollings down the sideline to the 39-yard line. He is finally stopped by Andrew Price. Just a great play by Hollings. Fielded that ball on the bounce. And uh, Westside has their best field position of the night. Their only field position of the night. Only, you're absolutely only time right, they have really. started on the, way, on the Hannah side of the field. Spot him at the 38-yard line. Gear at quarterback with the eye behind him. Motion. I don't know if that's motion or just resetting somebody. That was just a reset. Pitching D. Robertson looking for a block. Rambles back toward midfield. D still on his feet. He's low to bring down. Drop the football. Looks like Hannah has it. D. Robertson was rambling for a huge game. Had the ball stripped from him. And Hannah has recovered at about the 15-yard line. D. Robinson was making just a tremendous play. Very good blocking, broke a couple of tackles, cut back against the grain. And Westside was ready to get some excellent field position, but the opportunities had a defense, stripped him of the ball. I'm not sure who did it, but uh, it was a big, big play, the biggest play of the night so far. Especially this second half. Put him at the 14-yard line, first and 10, Hannah. With new life in the second half, they're in the eye. A uh, rather normal formation. They're going to motion back to the wide side of the field and pitch it to uh, Little, and he's bounced off some people, and he's on the road. The flags are down. Little's gone. I don't think there's enough angle here to stop him. Yes, there was. A touchdown saving tackle by Brandon Alexander, who got the angle on him, grabbed his shoulder pads from behind, but there's a hold on Hannah. Oh, Hannah does not like it. Motion penalty. Missed the first part of the play. Raphael Little break down. Who, said, who broke out? Who said this kid didn't have speed? Great angle by the west side defender to bring him back. Oh, man, the crowd didn't like that one. Illegal for the big ones. All back. Only six.
on the line of scrimmage. Six men on the penalty, replay first down. I've never seen him penalized this many times in a game this many years that I've been following them lately since Scott Parker's been here. You gotta have seven men on the line of scrimmage. You can have more, but you gotta have at least seven. Only had that six. Yeah. And there once again, Raphael starts to the right, cuts it back to the left. Hannah needs to put that in their repertoire. First and 15. Nothing happening for the tailback. That's Adrian Johnson as they have to give a little bit of a breather to, uh, Lafayette, to um, Raphael after the big run. You know, Westside has been playing the conventional plays real real well. The two long breaks by Raphael Little were plays that started one side and were broken down, and he reversed his field and came back the other way, a la a punt return. But they played Hanner straight up pretty good tonight. John Scott Leslie, the fullback. Adrian Johnson, the tailback. And Galloway wants to throw from the end zone. He threw behind his intended receiver, Ridge Gear. That was a, a second down play. Brings up third, about 15. Ball inside the 10. And Raphael has not completed one to his ride receiver all night. As you see, uh, the backs coming out of the backfield have been his only completions of the night. The one long one to Ricky Goodman was called back. And so... Uh, They've got to get these wide receivers involved in this passing game. It's a little in motion. And you know he wants to throw to him. Throws with a man hanging on him. Just overthrows Little. The bumping was... There was bumping. There was contact, but it was well after the play. The ball had been well overthrown before Little was bumped. As a matter of fact, I thought... Pretty good job done there by Brian Clickscales on him. This was the wheel route that Hannah Rudge and has run with great success. Ricky Goodwin, Ricky Goodwin uh, uh, runs the button hook inside, and Galloway just gets up the sideline. Not Galloway, but Little. Boy, he had to rush that one. Holly at the 45. Zip through some people, the little guys on the move, downfield. Hollings inside the 25. Did he drop the ball again? No. Hollings is fearless returning those punts, isn't he? Yeah, they say he weighs 142. I don't believe it. Feels those, feels those things on the run. An excellent field position by these west side Rams. You can't let a team continue to hang around. Put them at the 22-yard line. First down at that point. Gear is going to give it to Robertson. D is going to pound it straight ahead, pick up a couple of very tough yards. As you see, 52 getting up from the bottom of the pile, Antonio Chirac. And you've got to think you're in four down territory if you're the West Side Rams. You've got to do that same thing four times if you're going to score. You can't go wide, you can't go east west, you're going to have a hard time throwing. Just run it at him. Second down and eight. Robertson to the short side of the field. Pounded out of bounds on the far side. 24, you see, getting up right there for um, Hannah was Malaka. Also on the tackle, Raphael Little. Raphael, not a bad linebacker. Playing both ways. And if anyone can do it, he can do it. What do you do with a guy like him? He, he can do it all. You wish you had one like him. Third down about four yards. You definitely don't schedule him next year unless you have to. <laughs> you keep right. him off your schedule if you can. <laughs> Only a junior. Graduates. Now I'm going that, that brings up something, Jim. And since I'm closing this all out, they can't they can't do anything. But what's the coach's name at Rock Hill? Jim Ringer. Jim good, Ringer. Good friend. Idiot. He's an idiot. Good friend. The coach of the Shrine Bowl team in South Carolina, and, and you didn't have anything to do with this, say with this, and nobody's going to hear it outside our little listening audience here on uh, the Charter Cable, but he's an idiot. 
He, 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 there's something wrong with the man. Down in Lexington, South Carolina, there is a running back by the name of Demetrius Summers. We saw him two years ago up here. He came up here. Number one prospect in the nation. In the nation, he's considered the best running back in the entire nation. By far, going to set all the records for running back in the state of South Carolina. And this man doesn't pick him for the Shrine Bowl because he says, oh, I hear he doesn't block. Who cares whether he blocks or not? Doesn't fake either. Ringer is, yeah, doesn't take fake. Ringer is an idiot. <coughs> Vote me on it, anybody who wants to. Ringer's a pretty big And if he goes, good back, if he goes in and gets beat in the Shrine Bowl game, he, he ought to be barred from ever, ever coaching. I don't know why, and what was the excuse about the North-South game for the guy, for Summers? Uh, he's taking the ACT. At that day, okay. Hey, look at here at gear. Look at gear. Look at gear upended inside the five-yard line. The play worked to perfection. I'm a little surprised they they ran it. They had third and four. Look at the little guy. They've got four down. Tough, tough run. They've got two downs to make to make the four yards. It worked out perfect. And there he comes out injured. Or he's limping. He may not be coming out. He's going to just huff it back to, to D. Robinson right now. Yeah, three, four times. And D. hold on to the ball is what he's going to tell him. I'll guarantee you he, they, they, they said that. They said D. hold on to the ball. And here's D. Here's D. pounding but not making it. Yellow Jacket stood tall again. And there, what's more, is Sherrard. Adrian Johnson, number five. Antonio Sherrard. A senior just breaks down the west side tackle, blows the play up. Ben Alexander in there, too. No game. <coughs> ben Alexander, only a sophomore, uh, only a freshman. How would you like to line up against him in four years? Um, oh, yeah. Big guy. Zach K is in at quarterback. Gives it. No, he kept it. K is going to the outside. K is going to score. He surprised everybody. Outstanding fake by D. Robertson. Just great. Outstanding fake. I thought he had the ball. I thought he scored. Zach K. kept a great call by Ted Luckadoo and his staff. Fake the inside slam. The isolation play. Let your quarterback. I don't know what they call themselves doing on the swinging gate that time. We'll have to go back and see it from the... You know, this swinging gate that everybody lines up in nowadays and runs. Was it Clemson that fell for that against somebody? Uh, there was the flag flew immediately. I think D. Robertson was still moving around in the backfield when he got picked up. This doesn't hurt anything. This this miter, this shouldn't make it. This five yards. Dead ball. Both start on the offense. And how many the times has West Side worked on it and you get illegal procedure? Evidently they they were going for the two. Evidently they had what they were looking for was not covered properly by Hannah. Desmiter. Chance to tie it. He does. Are there some surprise people on this side of it is so quiet on the home side. Across the way, the Ram faithful tearing it up over there now. Got a shot of that Ram side. Some happy people from across town. This is a good rivalry. In the last 10 or 15 years has become a, a, the kind of rival you you want. It's a friendly rivalry. These, these people all know each other. And outside of schools have a lot to do with each other. And it's uh, it's a great rivalry. But they certainly want to beat each other. And, and you deserve a good game going out on a good rivalry with your last... Uh Last game of your career. Great ceremony for Ken Allison at the halftime. The mayor comes in, gives him the, the key to the city. The people from the local cable uh, channel uh, four and seven were, were around as the kickoff occurs. It's going to be dancing. He can scoop now. He can go. Andre Danzi, great field position on a kickoff for Hannah. Yeah, uh, 
I don't know how many conspirators there were, but the mayor and, and everybody kind of caught me by surprise. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, it was well deserved. Well 43 years of, of, of uh, <clears throat> there goes my voice. 43 years of, of broadcasting, well deserved. Thank you so much, everybody. Covers a wide, a wide gamut of athletic contests. Okay, they've got it out here now. This, a late flag comes in. Is finally catching a ball tonight was Ricky Goodwin. A late flag could be a late hit or a face mask against Westside. And now all of a sudden, Oh Mo switched jerseys. Mo took off the white jersey and put on the black jersey. And it started with the poor kickoff by Death Miner. Five yard face mask on the defense. Five yards first down. Andre Johnson. I say uh, it was not a poor kickoff. It was just not what you expect out of Desmond. He kicks him in the end zone normally. 37-yard line. First down, Hannah. They're threatening after Westside had just tied this ball game. Hannah knows they've got to come to life. It means so much in their home field advantage. The flags are down. I think you're going to have motion against Hannah. Man, he just ran out of a tackle. Another one. Absolutely just ran through his... The arms were locked, they were locked, Jim. But this one's coming back for motion. And Hannah's got to have uh, over 100 yards tonight. But Raphael Little, you know, this is three big plays he's had called back tonight. This game could easily be three or four touchdowns in Hannah's favor Maybe it's not by coming now. back. Maybe it was against West Side. So that one is not nullified. Had to be an offside on west side. And the Hannah the 18 and give him first down. And the Hannah faithful breathe a sigh of relief because I like it. All the rest of them thought it was against Hannah. Yeah, but well, we it I thought surely it was. Oh, oh. Jimbo. Jimbo Robinson's drill read, read perfectly by the west side defensive back. Loss Nothing doing two. on that one. Loss of two, second down 12. Yeah, we had the cameras from, from cable, uh, from channel four. We had, uh, Paul Brown, from the end, we had a guy from the Independent, just well deserved for Ken Allison on his swan song here tonight. Hannah's going to ask for a timeout because uh, they weren't sure of that play, and wisely uh, the thing to do in Ridge Gear turned around and said, Mr. Official, let's say timeout. 3.55 to go in the third quarter, and it's a 7-7 ball game. And, Jim, I'm, gonna, I I'm certainly going to miss uh, the Friday nights with you. Uh, I know you want to continue doing some things. Uh, it's just people keep, a keep asking me, uh, Preston Jones, and then they go through, well, Ken, why are you doing it? You know, after 43 years, there are other things that, that I'd like to do. And, um, you know, with uh, Patty, and it it's just uh, it's just time. Now, if I were if I were on the, the big network making $500,000, $2 million a year, it might be a different story. But And I told uh, Dan Holloman, who does the games for Hannah on WAIM, a minute ago, I said, now, Dan, uh, he made me sign this program today and date it that I was saying I was I, I was going to retire from broadcasting sports. Now, I intend to do some other broadcasting along. And, and date it, he says, when you come back, I'm going to show you that. I did say that I want to do one more game on radio, and maybe next year for someone I'll do a radio game. And, and I'll speak of that in just a minute, too. On second and 12... Pitch to Goodwin, and he broke. Goodwin struggling to find him, trying to make up for dropping a couple earlier. Moves inside the 10-yard line. And Jim, I know, and Goodwin now has is limping a little bit. Jim, I know that um, uh, we we talked about this before the the the, the, the situation 
uh, and, and when I said radio, maybe think Radio Kennedy, who was at the Touchdown Club again today. And uh, I know that um, that you got to be proud of radio and and the things uh, uh, that you and uh, you and Dennis Patterson uh, helped get started long, many, many years ago, and and the way the tradition is carried on, and and, and how proud you are of that situation. Uh, don't you'll get a flag for the late hit now after the whistle. Yeah, radio is an icon in the upstate right now. Uh, Dennis Patterson, uh, ferreting radio out down at McCants years and years ago. Uh, the whole Hannah community, hundreds and hundreds of players, faculty members, coaches. Hit ball, main start, only it's offense, the five yard penalty, replay first down. What you see in the movie might not be exactly the way the radio story came out. None of them are. You it's like bet that it's not. Yeah. But it's going to be a great movie and it's about some great people. And Galloway in the corner. That is Sullivan knocked down around the five-yard line. Well, I'll tell you one thing, how do I score? but Westside's making them earn every yard of it. And you know, as we, as we mentioned over and over, Hannah is just so balanced. You gang up and you stop Lafayette, uh, you stop Raphael and Adrian and John Scott, and you've got these great receivers with the good arm of Lafayette Galloway to keep that ball moving. Is that a dream backfield right there? Galloway, Johnson, and Little. Is that a dream backfield? Timeout again, Hannah. Now that's their second timeout they've burned in this drive. Somewhere along the line of a tight ball game, you may need some of those. This is still a, a tie ball game, 7-7, with 3.04 to go in the third period. Uh, one of the things that I... Paul Brown came today and, and did uh, an interview with me to run on his program a couple of weeks. Uh, conversation with Paul Brown on WRIX. Um, and one of the things I didn't get to, I had so much, you couldn't talk about 43 years in 12 minutes. I did want to bring up the fact that uh, a night a little bit colder than this, quite a bit colder than this, that I broadcast the last all-black high school football championship, and West Side, if I remember correctly, defeated Monk's Corner 12-6 for that state championship down there. Uh, William Roberts and, and his staff attack. And uh, I remember, I remember that very, very cool. That was the last before you know full integration. And uh, I thought that was a, a monumental thing to have done. All right, man in motion to the right side is Sullivan. Long count. Take the draw play. Swing it out to the right, wide open. Sullivan. The players are holding up their hands, but I haven't seen an official yet. He is very close if he's not in. Once again, the bootleg. Third time they've run it. It's been successful for them. Three for three. Of course, you, you and I both broadcast a lot of great um, things. We got Sean Ellis, whole career, now playing with the Jets. See what we got to get right here from Galloway. Adrian Johnson up and over. Hannah regains the lead 13 7. Here you go. Nothing much to this. Just Adrian straight, straight ahead as you've seen him do so many times this year. Behind great blocking up front. Another thing we have not mentioned is this Hannah offensive line. Just an outstanding job by them all year long. Every time you see guarded statistics by quarterbacks and fullbacks and running backs, you've got a good solid line up front. So Beckler makes it 14-7. And Hannah, Hannah answers west side quickly. The death by the kick was returned by Adrian Jansley. Hannah had the short field and made great work moving the ball down. Overcame a couple of big penalties, a couple of big losses, and drove that ball the 60 yards it took to regain this lead. And uh, West Side's going to have to really struggle to get back. I'm not moving. 
Yeah, I tell you, uh, uh, turnovers have, have played a little part in this ball game too. Westside's turned it over a couple of times, kind of once, but mostly, I think the two defenses. To me, the two defensive, even though there's there's 14 points on the board for one of them and seven the other. Remember, they were fairly short fields, but they got them on. The two defenses, to me, have just been great. The defenses in the penalty, you remember on that drive, it was helped along uh, by a west side penalty. That was refused by Hannah, so it really was not helped along. You got one foot into the end zone, and you don't run them out in high school. And such a weapon, as we've mentioned so many times over the years, when you've got a kicker who can put it in the end zone, you have really got a weapon because you did not have to worry about the run back. And, and uh, the Hannah kicker puts more in than he does not. So it's first and ten. Gear back in the ball game, playing with an injured ankle. Pitches it. This is D. Robertson. D. has a hard time on the outside, but he struggles and twists and fights. Adrian Johnson picked him up after he had knocked him down. Now, there's a kid who's had a great career that would probably, will probably could end tonight. Uh, D. Robertson started for as a sophomore for Ted Luckadoo, and he's just been a thousand yard rusher each year of his three-year career. He needed 70 coming in. He had the big one, dropped the football. He probably got his 70 tonight. May not have, but I thought he did. And boy, he didn't get any of it then. It takes some of it back. Just can't get started tonight against that stout, stout Hannah defense. Time, more, more. This time he picked up Adrian Johnson. That was the time before Adrian picked him up. Boy, that Hannah front four comes into play now. Because West Side faced with a long yardage situation deep in that territory. Being behind 14-7, going to try to have to put it up. If he doesn't drop the ball, he's going to be lucky. They saw the fake draw play coming, the play action coming all the time. Sherrard there one more time. Oh, what a game he's had tonight. Sherrod has had a, a, a yeoman's game. They see him coming off. Not a chance for Zach K. Now Deathfighter needs a good one because Hannah could end up in wonderful field position. An opportunity to maybe put this game away at 14-7 now. And he's got to kick it. And he got hit. And it's picked up by West Side. It's going to be downed. It's going to be down where he played. Yeah, where he touched it at the 14-yard uh, line. Now, since it was tipped, I thought it could advance it. Now, he couldn't, it, he couldn't do it if it had not been tipped, but I think the ball was tipped. And it's going to be West Side's ball, but it's not going to be a first down. Okay, he couldn't advance it, though. Could not advance it, so the Hannah offense is going to take over fourth down for West Side. Fourth down and 20, so Hannah takes over. Okay. We have yeah. first yeah. touching of a scrimmage kick beyond the auto line. First down. If it had not been beyond the line of scrimmage, West Side would have been able to advance it. Yeah, but see, I thought once the ball had been tipped, all that changed. And maybe it wasn't tipped. Maybe it just got off a bad Maybe kick. it was just a bad kick. And how do you like this change of events? West Side scores, gets momentum, and now they're going to fall behind by two touchdowns pretty quickly. And Lafayette, may, I mean, uh, Raphael's going to make it a one plus. Raphael goes about 16 yards on one play. All of a sudden, it's 20 to 7. West side was in the ball game with an opportunity to tie the ball game. No, go ahead in the ball game. 
And once again, you run the mis misdirection. Raphael breaks the play at the line of scrimmage and just walks it into the end zone. Beckler out of a Robinson hole. Well, they got close to that one, but of course he pounds them when he kicks them. And it's a 21-7 ball game with five seconds to go into the third period. Just like that. Now the quietness is on the far side and not the near side. Had an opportunist team starting with the good run back by Adrian Dances. Going to give them one touchdown. And then the, uh, the block kick. Going to give them the second short field for the other touchdown. And with Westside's offense, you got to figure his hat hammers in the in the driver's seat to get their tenth win, which is the most in 12 or 14 years for this Hammer team. So Beckler, who put so many of them into the end zone. We've seen some good kickers last few years, but I don't know if we've ever seen a high school kicker as consistent putting the ball in the end zone as Beckler is. I know Desmider doesn't, but he doesn't do it on his as consistently as consistently uh, as 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 Scott Beckler. He doesn't get as much practice for one thing <laughs> as Danzig. Westside looking at an 80 yard field. And they've looked at that or more all night long. And now, that, now they're in the situation that they're going to have to put it up somewhere during this drive. They better hope that goes to the ground. As Clink Scales went real high for it, it came off his hands and floated in the air a little while. I thought I saw a black shirt almost under it, and that would have been Adrian Johnson had it been. It'll be second down and 10 from the 20. Gear. In and out Summit quarterback with the injury. Missed almost all of last year due to injury. 6'1", 188, a senior. Dave Truth has done a pretty good job under the conditions. All, all of his career. Going to fire one up long. Had a man more open. Clink scales was open more than Blair was, but the flag back at the line of scrimmage. West side saying it against. Uh, and the Hannah second there has been good. Oh, yeah. Jim, that's the end of the fourth. Of the third quarter, I'm sorry, going into the fourth now with a score. Hannah 21, West side 7. What do we take? Oh, just so obvious. Captain Obvious has scored again. Oh, we're going to Obviously, he's going to down. Nice. Nice. Antonio Sherrard. Justin Wilde. Lonzo. Lonzo on the camera. Paris Gant. Brandon Blandy. Rick Jefferson. Jasmine McDowell. And Chris Hill. A lot of folks coming back to play for uh, Scott Parker next year. Westside going to have a few good ones back, too. And a lot of good ones leaving. Westside not able to sustain the good run back to begin the second half. The uh, turnover, the block kick, and the turnover. Somebody must have been offsides on that one. But at this rate, he can go back five and kick it into the end zone, which in college you'll have to do from 35. And he's going to be back too, Beckler, right? Yeah, Beckler's back. What a kicker he'll be next year. 
from the Jedi Yamaha back in the city of the Kings of the Lamb. And the Kings of the Lamb, the Lord, 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 the this is Alexander. Alexander made a, a crucial mistake. He had his blockers up the sideline, cuts back to the middle, and the host of Hannah Tacklers, and goes down with no field position at all. West side in pretty desperate straits now to keep from losing their seventh game. Good save. Good defensive move by Andy Malacca. And you know, everybody picks on Andy Malacca because of his stature, but the little guy stands in there with the touchdown club play of the week one week. I had four interceptions one night. Looks like they'd learn by now. Looks like they'd learn. Just covers the deep pass very well. It comes up with some key interceptions. Second down and 10 from about the 20-yard line. And here is the draw play with D. Robertson. He couldn't quite ever get on track. He was staggering all the way. By the way, Zach K is back in at quarterback. And K uh, stands to be the heir apparent to the quarterback spot next year. He has really improved over this past season just to... He didn't get that much work this year. Had to play a lot last year. But he is, you can see the maturity in him. Yeah, Zach K, uh, uh, Ted Luckadoo has had some good quarterbacks over the years. And uh, here, of course, having the injury problems, not able to come back completely from them. K back, wants to throw some more. Zips one pretty good. <clears throat> I don't know why Sullivan dropped that one. He was gone. He, was, he, he saw that, that diamond shape, all those diamonds in that end zone in his eyes, and dropped the football. Great break on the ball by Charles Sullivan. Had he picked it off, he's going to score. Nine minutes and 18 seconds to go in this ball game, and Hannah is going to get this ball back in fantastic field position, even if they don't field it. And if one of these little scooters, or the, the big guy or the little guy, gets a step, they'll get it better than good field position. That's my They'll get it to those diamonds, won't they? Bear catch called for by a little. I bet he hated to do that. <laughs> 48-yard line. Probably one of his few all year. But that was wise because there were a lot of rams surrounding him. 27-7, and Hannah is, looks like they're going to win 10 ball games for the first time in win. Since uh, at least 1990, And, and West Side to uh, a disappointing season for them, a couple of disappointing seasons in a row. And, and, and you, can, you can believe that, that the West Side program under Ted Luckadoo is not going to stay down much longer. They have Little at fullback. And they try to pop him with a trap play. I thought that was little. That is little, isn't it? No, that's a 32, not a 22. That's Travis Henderson. Got to give credit where credit's due now. Thought it was a step or two slower than little going in there. I thought little might be tired. Danzy's the tailback. It's second down and about a long five. Now what's the more? Galloway got a man wide open. Now, you talking about fingertip missing it. Sullivan had beaten his man. These tall white rangy handle receivers, uh, Sullivan and, and, uh, and, and Lee and Goodwin, all about 6'2 or 6'3, they can stretch it out and go for him, and Lafayette Galloway can put it on the money. 
no long completions tonight, but just off the fingertips for, on several occasions. Eight minutes and 21 seconds left in the season for Westside and in the careers for a lot of these young men. Look at this. Barely missed. Uh oh, let's get back to live action. Here's Danzy. Danzy fights his way and showed a little power in there after he's hit by a host of rounds and they were led in there by Preston Simmons. He punched forward close to first down yardage, but not quite. Jim, after this ball game, I'm going to go out on the town because I have a key to the city now. You've got a key to the city? Absolutely. Uh, the mayor gave it to you. I saw him. Pretty good surprise that you had no, yeah, it was. I, no I, explanation. No, this was gonna, you should have known when your beautiful wife, uh, Patty, showed up. Well, she kept saying, she meant saying, um, you know, I think I ought to be at your last game and this kind of thing. And, uh, and it, it, you know. I, I'd like to take some credit for it, but uh, the mayor was supposed to include me, but you know how mayors go sometimes. <laughs> yeah, those politicians. Of course, you know, the, the mayor used to be, he did some color like you did for me long, when he was a very, very young man. And, uh, of course, he did most of his color for Al Joseph on WAIM, and then Richard took over and did the play-by-play -play for him in a year on uh, WAIM. Other people that I've worked with down through the years, uh, my close friend Scott Shannon. And hopes to do some play-by-play -play for, for Cable 14 next year for Charter Communications. Yes, the next mayor. Year. Uh -huh. The mayor, no coach. Sullivan. How wide open That's was he? Sullivan. That's Sullivan. He's going to score. My goodness, he was wide open, and then they didn't close on him. How wide open can you get? He just stood there. Well, there he goes. Look. Put a great move on the defensive, defensive back. Watkins just couldn't close on him. It's a 33-7 ball game, 7.41 to go. Hannah has so many weapons. They can score so quick from any point on the field, from offense or defense. Robinson puts it down, and Beckler puts it up. It's a 34-7 ball game. Hannah has kind of put it away here. 7.41 to go. And this game turned so quickly. 7-7. Seven, seven. And then all of a sudden, Hannah explodes with, uh, what, 28 unanswered points. 27. Yeah, just that quickly. Kind of remind you what Clemson did in a couple of minutes last week against Duke. Sure did. And this Hannah program is definitely on the rise. Yeah, their B team had a good year. The, the junior varsity. And they, they, what happened, they started out slow and then came on strong toward the end. Scott Parker coming here on his third year and just bringing the big winning tradition back. And Beckler, I mean, it's got to be discouraging. Got to be discouraging if you're West Side. Imagine if you had a, a Lafayette guy, a, a Raphael Little on your team, and you never got to return back a run back a kickoff. Now, is Beckler a soccer player? He is a soccer player. Yeah. Uh huh. And a very good one. Plays for Coach Dick Smith and his uh, very good soccer program here. First down, west side again on their own 20-yard line. Boy, they have started out there all night long. He Robertson finds a little room on the outside. Boy, somebody went down under there. Adrian Johnson. Boy, they've met a lot tonight. Now, let me tell you, D may be a load, but Adrian Johnson's a full-grown 195, 200-pounder himself. And he'll bring it. He'll bring it each play, yes, each night. Gear wants to throw it. Gear's written down this time by Adrian Johnson. 
There's a flag, but I don't know what it was for. Looks it had to be a face mask. How about him, man? He stopped the man upfield two yards. Then he he throws the quarterback for a loss. He has scored a touchdown tonight. I don't know how many tackles he's made. Eight or nine. Got a little face mask. You remember Dave Avian was our Anderson Avery Touchdown Club Player of the Year last year, only as a junior. He's not been back this year. There's been so many good performances by our players in the county. Uh, great seasons by a lot of teams. Of hey, course, man, none of them on the defense. On the, the, the numbers we play that the team has. Well, Palmetto does. They've won, they won their tenth one tonight. Those teams in the playoffs, the one, two, and three A's. Gear just dropped the ball on the ground. I don't know if he ever got it. He didn't. Hannah has come up with it. I couldn't see who did it, friends. It might have been Chris Lee. <laughs> but Gear just dropped it right in his hands. Under no pressure at the moment. No, not real pressure. Well, this has got to be so disheartening for Ted Luckadoo, who is, he is, he is a those West Side fighter. coaches are still coaching. Oh, yeah. He is a fighter. He, he um, tries so hard. And the team was well prepared. Just made those key mistakes that they could not overcome against this explosive kind of offense. Danzy. He was hit and should have been knocked down, but the little guy just kind of bounced off somebody and gets the ball down close around the two or three yard line. Like I said, the one yard line. What's this going to be? Uh, uh, 34 unanswered points all in the yeah. second half. Right. Just kind of laid it on them. And it's not like they were really trying all that hard. Danzy kind of walks in. And this is probably going to be one of the biggest margins of uh, victory in the Hannah West Side Series. It's 40 to 7. It's going to be one of the uh, one of the biggest margins. See, I saw you win 28-7, I believe, one time, didn't you? That's about the most we ever won. I think Rodney was a senior. You won. Uh -huh. I think you won at 28-7. Robinson holds it, and Beckler puts it up there. And even though he got hit, the ball got tipped, so you can hit him if the ball got tipped. Well, with 6-17, it's 41-7. And some of the West Side folks saying, well, it's warmer at my house or over at the coffee shop or... I'm going to listen. Or, I'm going to listen to the rest of it going home on my car radio. Yeah, this kind of program has really taken off in the last couple of years under Scott Parker. Got him a great coaching staff here. Uh, we need to name them, don't we? Going winless the first year, winning a couple the second year, and really bouncing back the last two years. Really brought this program on and has them ranked 10th in the state, and they deserve that ranking, 10th in 4A in the state. Now, that's not Beckler kicking. <laughs> Pretty much the same results. It's David Maddox who kicked it. And these two programs can have kind of flip-flopped. Westside was so good in the 90s, early 90s, and Hannah was not too very good, and now they just flip-flop. Hannah's good and Westside's not too very good. Zach K back at quarterback, split backfield, slot right. Okay, pitches it out to a running back. That's Martin, swing in the corner. Just a little sweep to the right side where he had a couple of wide outs over there to block for him. He got a first down. I think I'll pretend I'm on the radio here for a minute. Is that all right? Yeah, go ahead. 
Close to 10. It'll be west side ball. Issue last time. First and 10 at 39-yard line. They trail in the ball game, 41-7. They break out. Got a split backfield slot to the right side one more time. That's to the short side. We've got a, a yellow jacket stepping across into the neutral zone. And in high school, you can't step across and get back like you can in college and pros. So you've got in there. It's going to cost him five yards offside. So it'll be second down and five for the Rams. Now, you know, if we win the pros, we'd tell his name now. You want to play like win the pros? He's coming out. Dead ball. Encroachment on the defense. Five yards. First down. Mama knows who it was. <laughs> it's going to be first and five. Put them at just out, just inside their own 45-yard line. Same formation. Zach K reaches on it. Marks the signals long. Pivots. Kind of a quickie play, giving off to T. Robertson. Robertson picks up more yardage, moves inside Hannah territory to about the 46-yard line. There he's hit and finally brought down one of the tacklers, Malacca. It'll be first down, Rams. I certainly hope Robertson gets his um, 70 yards tonight that he needed to go over the 1,000-yard mark. That would be at least some good thing to happen for the Rams tonight. They're going to be higher yards. Did he get? Slot him to the right side one more time. That same formation. Pitch it hard right to uh, Martin. He slips one tackle. Slips another. Heads towards the sideline. It's going to be bumped out of bounds on the far side. Knocked down at that point by Roger Reed, whose dad let us in the, in, into the parking area tonight. And Roger Reed, one of the top linemen that, we, linemen that we've ever had here, here at T.L. Hanna. Just a tremendous defensive tackle. Went ahead and played it. Johnson C. Smith, he got him a degree, recently has moved back to Anderson, and his uh, his son, Roger Reed Jr., is going to be a good one, only a sophomore. Second down and five for the Rams. Hannah has a lot of backups in there now on defense. Once more time, this is going to be Zach Kay keeping the ball on the option. He's going to get about two yards, maybe only one, to the 40-yard line. That's about all. I tell you, somebody else that's in here tonight, I think, is a Johnson C. Smith graduate. He's coaching on the other side. Who would that be? I think Milton Glover's a Johnson C. Smith guy. South Carolina State. Is he a state? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I didn't. Find, I, I really didn't think he did. He, he did the state thing. H had a great career. At at uh, South Carolina State. Milton Glover's been around a long time. Oh, yeah. Almost as long as Wayne Jones. That's right. Wayne Jones on the sideline. Go ahead. Well, that's okay here. And we have, uh, they got to give it straight ahead and nothing doing as the whole left side of that yellow jacket line gets in there to put him down. 53, you see getting up is Chris Glenn. Chris Sim plays some center. We saw him warming up. Snapping that ball back. Also a pretty good defensive lineman in a backup role. They got a lot of JV guys dressed out tonight, of course. JV came out strong toward the end. It's fourth down at about four. Ball at the 40-yard line. Got a quick pitch it out here to Martin. Going to try to get in. Can't go. What a good defensive play by Andrew Price. He's made two or three good stops tonight. So Hannah has held and will take over with four minutes to go in the ballgame. They are at their own 41-yard line. So let's see what kind of offense they got to get in here. And Hannah just made a shambles of this game in the second half. Just starting out in what was a hard-fought first, set, first half. Hannah happened by penalties have really come on in the second half. Galloway still in at quarterback. Pitches it to Danzy. Danzy finds a little bit of running room and then a good tackle by Lee Artis Brockington. We've called that name a lot tonight. Give him a couple of yards, make it second down and eight. Ball about the 43 yard line in Hannah territory. They lead in the ball game 41-7 with 3.38 to go. I'm Ken Allison. Along with Jim Frazier, we're closing out 17 years of broadcasting uh, sports here on Charter Cable, at least for me and us together. We hope that Jim is going to be continuing to do some. 
been a good 17 years. Ball on the ground. Ball on the ground. Did you ever mention those coaches? Uh, I didn't have all of West Side's, and I can't remember them all, but for, since we have the Hanna program, you got Lee Garner, Jan Radford, Cecil Bonner, Trevor Cole, Derek Burnett, Wayne Jones, Greg Hacker, Drew Chisholm, Andy Harris, Chris Bowen, Chris Davis, and Michael Young. Now, let's see, we got uh, Ted Patterson over there. I'm going to miss somebody for West Side for Ted Lucky to do. Uh, you know, Greg Addis helps them out, and of course we mentioned Milton Glover trying to set up a screen and does. That's going to be Johnson. Flags are down, and that is a good tackle, a really good tackle by Chris Miller. Miller hit it good and hard, and then reached down and said, "Here, Adrian, let me help you." See, these kids know each other. You know, this 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 is a small town. Had a defensive holding call on West Side, and that'll be an automatic first down. Yeah, these kids play in summer leagues together. They play basketball, pick up basketball together. They see each other in the mall. Oh, they'll go to some parties together tonight, too. Yeah, just to, uh, what started out as a holding pick on the defense. Still the is. Yard. First down. Both these teams respect each other. They look forward to playing each other. And, uh... You know, right now it's not much of a rivalry with Hannah winning the sixth straight. So first down for Hannah now and timeout for the Rams. The ball is inside Ram territory at the 46-yard line. 2.31 to go on a chilly night. And there again, Hannah does not know, as we make this broadcast, even who they might be playing in the playoffs next week and might not know till about Thursday. And how I, do you prepare? All they know they're going to be playing at home. How do you prepare if you don't know till Thursday? The courts are involved because of Marlboro County's suspension, and they have sued the high school league. If you're going to have a governing, governing body, they've got to govern. And I still think your buddy Ringer, the coach at Rock Hill, is, is an idiot. <laughs> We're not putting what is eight, numbers. Well, he's got Rock Hill number one in, uh, in the state. I don't care. <laughs> it's just wrong. It's just wrong unless the kid has committed some kind of awful crime. The kid deserves to be, he's the best running back in the state. How do you not put him on the Shrine Bowl team? It's, it's just not right. The state legislature should step in do something about it. Those Trimbo coaches have... Is that Galloway in there? We, we, evidently, we've got a new center. Uh, I don't know if it's Galloway or not. It's still Galloway, yeah. The governor should step in. One of his last acts is demand that they put Summers on the Shrine Bowl team. The Shriners run the team. They turn it over to the coaches. And the coaches have the autocratic rule well, the over who they pick. The Shriners should step in. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It is a great, great, great thing that they do. But this is wrong. On the coaches' part, not the Shriners' part. I mean, they, have, they have no blame in this at all. D. Robertson, nowhere to go. Going to lose some yardage. He, he starts wide, puts on his brakes, tries to take it downhill, doesn't get anything. This second group of Hannah defenders uh, yeah. are, are playing pretty tough out there. They sure are. They aren't giving West Side any breathing room. They aren't conceding anything. Having to take D out. K. Okay. Evidently was stepped on by a center or a guard as he pulled out of there. And that second contingent of how to defend is very quick. You saw their quickness. Ridge Gear gets the credit for the tackle. I'll go along with Chuck Parker, the PA guy. Joe had two sons and a grandson to uh, go to West Side, one son to go to Hannah. 
and I went to old boys high school with yellow jackets back then so my ties are both sides nothing at all going on for west side here even though they recovered the fumble we're getting down to the one minute mark and it's fourth down so you've seen a lot of west side and hannah football a lot of boys high football a lot of football all over the upper state and basketball and college yeah and and i still i still see a lot of a lot of those ball games i intend to do that but it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a, a kind of a different kind of a thing and you know how it is at the end of the year when you have been doing them if you do 11 straight games which we did not do this year but when you do that here's k wants to throw lock it up here and hope somebody can run under it and nope he hoped that ryan burton was going to run under it the stride for stride with him was tucker antoine tucker Hannah has held and will take over. I suspect that this will be just a knee. 41-7 the score. Hannah, big time win over Westside. Hannah is 10-1 and one for the first time in 11 or 12 years. Westside will go 4-7. and seven. At quarterback to take the snap is Copeland. And Copeland is going to take a knee and let this thing run out. Copeland's only a sophomore. On west side seven. I'm Ken Allison for Jim Frazier. The whole Charter Cable folks. I think it's been a wonderful, wonderful 43-year ride in Sullivan, everybody.